Welcome to the channel. We are about to talk all things My Father's World, exploring countries and cultures. Stick around. Welcome to the channel. My name is Morgan here at The Life of Tillman's. If this is your first time, I'm so happy to have you. I hope that while you're here, you find everything that you need, love, and enjoy right here on the channel. If you've been with me before, welcome back. This video, I am hoping and praying is so informative that you leave here feeling like all of your questions have been answered. I have received so many questions via Instagram and email and here on YouTube about my father's world. And I completely understand where every single person who has messaged me is coming from. I posted a video a while back when I talked about our family subjects and introduced what we will be using for the upcoming school year. And I talked about my journey through looking into my father's world way back when <laughs> and being, being overwhelmed um, and not really necessarily understanding the process to God sending an amazing now friend into my life to help me better navigate that. And I want to pass that knowledge on to you because I have received a plethora of questions and I'm excited to share it and also give you my honest review. We are now about to start week number four of My Father's World, and I'm just gonna give you all the details. So if you are not familiar with My Father's World, it is a Christian-based curriculum, Charlotte Mason style. If you're not familiar with what Charlotte Mason style it is, it is living books. That means making your learning come to life with books, tons and tons and tons of books which is so much fun. And I believe we retain so much more information when we have that style of learning. Now I'm not 100% Charlotte Mason style type of teacher. However, I do really enjoy it in my home and for specific subjects. That is what My Father's World is. It covers every grade level from pre-K all the way up to 12th grade. The subject areas that My Father's World covers are Bible, art, music, science, and geography, those five things. You do have an option to add in their writing as well as language arts and then um, your own math curriculum into it. But the basics for what we are using it for are those five areas, Bible, geography, science, art, and music all together. And we have our own other subject matters. So far, it's been really good. I'm enjoying it. But when you get to the website, if you're looking up My Father's World, it may seem a little confusing. One of the things that drew me to My Father's World is the Charlotte Mason style learning. And also I wanted to group our, our subjects together. I needed, I needed us at the table together. I felt like I was chasing my tail trying to do a different science with all of my children or a different you know, Bible with them or just things like that. And one of the things that I love about it is that if your child is from second through eighth grade, they can all be working on the same curriculum. This also gives you history as well. So that is another component. Um, when you start getting to, into the geography aspects of it, history is included um, in the subjects as well. So I needed that. Like I really, really needed that. And I was like, this has been the way to go. What held me back in the beginning, I'll be honest, and I said this in my other video, was the cost. It was more than what we could afford in our household at the time. However, recently I met a friend, she helped me, she got the curriculum for us, used, and it really saved the day because we are loving the curriculum. So if you have a child that's pre-K, they have a separate pe curriculum for pre-K, kindergarten, first grade, and second grade, depending on if you have older children. So if your child is in second grade and you do not have children in fourth through eighth, then your child will just work on whatever that specific second grade curriculum is. And I cannot remember exactly what it is, guys. But when you go to the website, the one thing that I do love about it is that it is going to ask you questions to put you on the right track. It's going to ask you what grade level your child is in. And if they have a sibling that is in fourth through eighth. And if you answer yes, it's going to shoot you to the curriculum that you need for your family cycle. So they have what's called family cycles. And that is what we are doing now. So we are working on exploring countries and cultures, which is the first curriculum in the family cycle 
for your children if you have multiple children grades second through eighth grade that's how that's the easiest way for me to be able to explain it once you go to the website it really does become a lot clearer they have two separate packages for each curriculum you can do a basic package you can also do a deluxe package now if we think about anything deluxe there are additional things that come with the deluxe package but they are not what you would consider to be a requirement for you to be able to use the curriculum so you could do the basic package and then you could look through the deluxe and see what additional items are there and possibly purchase those separately as well the next thing is within the curriculum you will get your teacher's guide and this is your lesson plan it tells you and explains to you everything that you need to do day to day the different sections and everything and i will show you guys a flip through of this teacher's curriculum also sold i say sold separately it will go with the curriculum but however if you have a child if you have three children in exploring countries and cultures then you are going to need three sets of the student sheets okay the when you if you buy the package fully off of their website it will come with a student sheets set and then if you need additional ones then you will just buy additional student sheets i copied our student sheets i have one copy that i kept intact um, unused and i made two copies for my two big girls and that is how i am doing the student sheets which is totally fine you can do do that um I'm trying to think what else and give you guys as much detail about this curriculum as I can possibly think of. I promise you, if you get to the website, it's so much more clear. So this consumables, that was another question that I had. How do you reuse the curriculum? Things like this. This is the only consumable that you will have a part of the curriculum, the student sheets, everything else. Um, I'll show you some sticker books and things like that but everything else is books and they're going to be books that you're adding to your home library and so if when you get ready to do this curriculum and you stick with my father's world your child will then go back into exploring countries and cultures like in the eighth grade or ninth eighth grade i believe it is and so you just would need another set of student sheets and a couple of sticker books i'm also going to just show you all of the books that come with the basic package. I have a few books that come with the deluxe package, but majority of it is just the basic package. And we've been using it and really, really enjoying it. So one thing I really like about it is that it gives you everything that you need from day to day. You start out with Bible, then you, you go to your geography, and then you are into your science. You have read alouds. There's a book basket that you can set up and everything in front of the in the front of the teacher's manual gives you really clear, concise instructions as to how to set it up. I've read over it several times because that's just my personality and how I am. But it really helped me to get a really good understanding of how things are going to flow. And we all know that once you get started, in something the first week is kind of rocky because you're like i don't really know what i'm supposed to be doing or you're constantly going back and forth to your book you're still learning order things like that but we are cruising into our fourth week and it's been a breeze you're getting in lots of reading time book baskets and the book basket is more for you to explore for your child to explore additional books and i'll show you a book list as well there's tons of information within this. If you're interested in seeing how I set up the book basket, please let me know down in the comments because I will do a separate video all about how I set up the book basket. But for this video, I wanted to give you the background that I have about my father's world and show you what comes with or other options that you can add into the exploring countries and cultures just to give you a really good idea. So key things to remember, they provide curriculum from pre-K all the way to 12th grade. There are family cycles. The family cycles can start at second grade, depending on if you have a child who is fourth through eighth grade. That, that determines whether or not you enter into the family cycles. If not, there is a separate second grade curriculum and there's also a separate third grade curriculum as well. The website is very clear, very user friendly. When you get on there, it's going to ask you, find the right curriculum for your child, and you are going to just simply answer those questions and it's going to shoot you directly to what you need and where to get started. 
of course you will do additional exploring on the website just to get information, generalized information about it, but it has been a huge benefit in allowing us to all gather around the table. Even my toddler, she is learning about like states. We're working on the states right now in North America and she's learning about states and I give her a world map and she'll color it. It's been really good. My girls are excited about opening up a lot of the books that we have. It's been a really nice curriculum. So I'm gonna stop talking. <laughs> if you have any additional questions, please put those down in the comments. Um, I tried to answer all of the questions that have been given to me previously prior to this video. But if you come up with something as I'm talking and flipping through, put it down in the comments and I will answer that for you as well. So what I'm gonna do is turn the camera around and I'm just gonna show you all of these amazing resources. Okay, I have everything laid out on the table to show you what we have going on here. Now this book has been loved on, it is, has been borrowed and I will be returning it to its owner. Um, but this is what the teacher's manual looks like, exploring countries and cultures. Once you hop in, it gives you just an overview. Um, and like I said, the subject matters are Bible, geography, science, art, and music, and then math and language arts. And it says you will need to add math and language arts. We recommend Singapore math. They give you recommendations here and different things for language arts as well. And they offer some of those things for you. It also suggests that you add in foreign language and then read alouds are a big, huge part of this. And it offers seventh and eighth grade supplements, things to make it more challenging for your older child. And it goes through and talks about all the details of that. So over here, this is a page that I was talking about exploring countries and cultures. There is a basic package, and this is what you would get in the basic package. And then here is the deluxe package. And these are the additional things that you would get for the deluxe package. So you would get all of this for basic here, and then you would get all of these things for the deluxe package. There is writing in this book. Like I said, it's been loved on, so be aware of that. But there's preparation. And it tells you what to do. We have our three ring binders set up for the girls already. Things that you may need, like this talks about a magnifying glass for nature observation. You will need your own Bible, a spiral notebook, um, things you will need for your seventh and eighth grader. Lots of diff uh, the different steps to go through. And the girls and I did this together. They set up their own three ring binder. They made their tabs, all of that. We just simply, I just simply went through, gave them instruction, and this was a part of our starting school process, which was really fun. They were excited about that. And as you go through, here are now your teaching tips. It gives you teaching tips for Bible, Window to the World, which is one of the books that I'll show you, Hero Tales, your memory verse, um, and how to have your child commit verses to memory. It also talks about different areas like handwriting, math drills, math spelling. Now these are not things that come with this curriculum. These would be additional things that you would add in if you wanted to do so. It goes through for English and gives you suggestions for different grade levels. So much information, writing strands, um, language arts, and then it talks about geography. And it says this year, uh, we will focus on geography using resources from the basic package. Then it goes through and it talks about the different items that are related to geography. So exploring world geography book, um, the great animal search is here. Then it goes into details about your book basket, reading, language arts for your seventh and eighth grader. And then it goes into science and talks about all the different books. So very detailed in the beginning, to get you started, not overwhelming, I'll have to be honest, it was not overwhelming at all. It was actually really fun to read it and understand where this curriculum is going. So I did enjoy reading those things. The next thing is here. Um, this is recommendations for a foreign language, if you choose to add that. And then exploring countries and cultures for your seventh and eighth grade student and how you would approach it just a little bit different for them. Here is a question that everyone asks, help, how do we fit everything in? This gives you an idea of how they do it and then they even give you a sample schedule here that you can try to go by. 
We did not go by this schedule. Um, we do all of our, with the exception of Bible, we do all of our My Father's World things after we have done our basic subjects and that has worked really good for us. So it has tons of options here for that. It gives you a list of your memory verses on these pages. And then you go into your preparation for weeks one and two. Photocopies if you need to, library books, materials, the great animal search book and what pages you need to tab, the complete book of animals and pages to tab and how to use those. And then a reminder to also read your preparation in the front of the teacher's manual. I did this for it and then you will hop into your schedule. I'm going to go to a page that does not have so much writing on it and show you the basics. Here we are. We are about to start week four. Actually, this was a perfect turn to spot. It gives you everything. So this would be, you can label this on your own. This would be like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. It gives you what you would need for Bible, your language arts. On this one, it says copy your memory verse. These spots that are blank, this is where you would add in your own curriculum. So you would write in your book what subjects you wanted or what the, your child will be covering for Spanish, for English, math drills and math, all of that. Then it goes into the geography and the science, which is a part of this curriculum. So you will have all of these different books and you would know what to do and where to go. Also a book basket is a big part of this curriculum as well, which I am loving. There's also a music CD that you listen to different songs and a book that goes with that CD. There is an art book that you would do different art projects. And then as you go down here, here is your read aloud. Kingdom Tales is what you go through. So far, we are really enjoying these Kingdom Tales. I'm surprised, but we're, we're enjoying it, guys. And then for your second and third grader, you would have the Book of Animals. When you go over to the next page, and this is still for week number four, this is the information that you would add in for your seventh and eighth grader um, supplements, okay? And these are different things. And now it even goes into further detail on Monday for Bible. So Monday is here for Bible. It tells you and gives you instructions on Bible instructions for spelling. It gives you instructions for geography, um, properties of ecosystems, which will be your science. And then for your seventh and eighth grader, you would go into exploring world geography and work on those pages. As you can see, it's very detailed. It even tells you in here, Maybe this is a hard subject in that it's so detailed that your younger child, your second, third grader, even possibly your fourth grader, you may, you may need to read ahead and just give them a lighter version of it. But it does that for every day of the week. So here's Tuesday, here's Wednesday. Oh, I was doing wrong. Wednesday and then Thursday. And there is nothing for Friday. So that means to me that Friday is pretty self-explanatory. You would do your Matthew hero tales and then cooking yes we like cooking we've already done a cake um, we did a world cake a couple of weeks ago which was so much fun so there is that those are the things and that is how each week is done it gives you your preparation and it's done by two week intervals so this was week four then we have week five there was no preparation for weeks five and six it seems like no preparation for those, nothing for weeks five and six. Actually, let me go back. Because these are all grouped together, the preparation work for this, this is preparation that you would need for weeks three through eight. So you will not get another preparation sheet until right before week number nine. And that is the entire lesson plan book. Toward the end of the book, which I love, 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 and it is a 36 week course, okay? You get here in your appendix, and it has recommended resources for Book Basket. I am in love with this, okay? Yes, there are a ton. So here we are on week one and two, and you have all of these books, and it puts them in categories. So World Atlas, cultures of the world, geography basics. You flip over here and you have picture books and that is all for weeks one and two. What I did, initially I started trying to find as many of these books as I can, but it says up here 
that you don't need to locate these exact books and you also don't need to get all of these books. They have books that have a star by them and those are the ones that they would say are highly recommended that they have really, really enjoyed. So children just like me, I purchased that book. Um, people somewhere in the world right now, I checked those out from the library, how to make apple pie and see the world, also that one. So that is what I did. I went ahead and just grabbed a lot of the starred books. I did grab Miss Rumpheus. I grabbed that one and What a Wonderful World. And from here to there, I was able to find those at my library. So you don't have to have all of the books. Week three and four, that is where we are currently. We are about to start week number four. Lots of United States books. So I honestly grabbed some books that were that I had at home already. Um, but if you can see here, this one is How to Make Cherry Pie and See the USA. That's a starred book. The Hundred Dresses is a starred book. We just finished this read aloud, a very good book on character and making good choices and standing up and being bold. Loved it, loved it. Um, the next one that I do have is uh, Betsy and Tacy Go Over the Big Hill, Stone Fox. We are currently reading that and loving it so far as well. Um, and then books about forest, woods, and trees. Those were also starred. We have lots of tree and forest books, but I did check out some from the library. So this book list is like your ultimate book list to fill up your book basket, which will definitely come in handy. Um, like I said, this curriculum is really heavy, Charlotte Mason based. And so having all of these books at your disposal is a major, major plus. The next thing I'm gonna do Oh, it also at the back, I almost forgot about that. It has a list of chapter books. I'm gonna go to the page here, if I can. Okay, anyway, these are chapter books and it also has, hold on guys, let me, I wanna show you all this page, but I can't seem to get it apart with one hand here. Okay, here we go. <laughs> it says recommended list for general reading. It has easy readers for your youngest. It has picture books, a list of picture books, second grade, third grade, fourth grade, and fifth grade. And we did pick up some of these books that my girls are currently reading. Like we grabbed um, Peter Pan, The Chronicles of Narnia, um, The Littles, Charlotte's Webb, Stuart Little. Let's see what else. The Secret Garden. And there were a couple of others on this list that we grabbed um, for the girls to read. And so we're gonna add those into their chapter books readings, which is gonna be perfect. Okay, the next thing I'm gonna show you are the student sheets. It will come just like this without the big black clip on it, of course, but they do not come spiral bound, hole punched, anything, which I thought was awesome because you can do with it what you want. But this is what it will look like. Individual pages. And the first thing will be your memory verse sheets. And I won't show all of these pages, it's quite a bit, but memory verse sheets here. And the first thing that the girls did was fill out a passport application. What I love about this is that in the top right corner, it tells you week number one, Monday. And then I'm gonna hop to this one, week three, Monday. And we just finished doing a lot of these. This is week three, Tuesday. Then you have sticker pages, week five, Monday. So that is the awesome thing about it is that it goes through and it tells you exactly what to do, when to do it, what page you need, and where to put these pages in your binder with your tabs which is awesome. I'm gonna show you the girl's binder as well. Hold on. This is my oldest daughter's binder. And what it instructed us to do was to label it with all of the continents. So it gave us world, North America, South America, Europe, Antarctica, Africa, Asia, in Australia and when you finish a student sheet it will tell you which section it needs to go under for example obviously we're working on we just finished week three working on and learning about forest this went under world 
They also learned how to do the grids and work with latitude and longitude. And this went under world as well. This was week two on Monday. Then under North America, this was some copies and I'll show you this book in just a minute too, but they also had to go through, oh, it's the other way. They had to go through and label, working on labeling the states and it told us which ones to label. And we will come back to this sheet throughout the next um, four weeks as well to finish labeling the states. And this is our John 316 page. And there are about 14 of these throughout the entire course. So this is like the main verse. The girls have this memorized already and just other things. So this is what we have been doing. We were learning all about forest. Um, and so that is how you would set up the binder. Now on to books, depending on which which package you get basic or deluxe package would determine which books you get but the first one is the living the usborn living world encyclopedia classroom atlas maps and globes geography from a to z a picture glossary god speaks numangang i, don't, I think i'm pronouncing that correctly but this was a read aloud for us um, properties of ecosystems window on the world the great animal search, and this will be used for your child who is um, second and third grade. My big girl loves doing it too, but it's basically just a book and you go and you would find different animals and you would search for them in the picture that are in the Arctic. And on the side, it tells you about that specific animal. Really cool book. Um, this is a read aloud for us, Hero Tales. We're currently reading that one. It's a part of our Bible in the morning. The global art book has all of the art projects that you would do for this curriculum. And then the children's Atlas of God's world. So those are resource and read aloud type books, non what I call non consumables. <laughs> then we go here. This is the complete book of animals. This is the stack of consumables. The complete book of animals is for grades one through three. And that's exactly what it is. A complete book of animals by the continent for which they are on or the country for which they are in as well. So there's that really fun book. Then we have exploring world geography. And this is for um, third and fourth graders. I just showed you guys copies of those pages in one of my daughter's binders but they just go through and answer certain questions like we're on North America right now and they actually just completed this page a few days ago. So physical features of North America and it has lots of different things and it does it for every country. Then we have fun with easy origami. Of course, when you use up the paper, you can just buy more origami paper. The book itself is not consumable. Another trip around the world and I did go ahead and purchase two of these. Um, so that the girls can each have their own but we will actually start using this book this week we have not started just yet but it, it starts in week four just a really good activity book so we have two of those then we have a trip around the world i also have two of those it's another consumable type book with worksheets lots of learning information cooking things like that and then we have Flags of the World, the ultimate sticker book. And I have two of those for my big girls as well. And it is a book. We did a few things in it um, last week. As you can see here, Magdalene had to place the stickers for Canada, the United States and Mexico, the flags for those. Um, and it has a flag for all the countries, as you can see. So cool though. And this is the one that my big girl is using. Hers also has, it's a little bit different, but I kind of like that their books are a little different, but this one here, she would place the big flag here and put the date. It's almost like, like traveling in the book. When did you travel there? What does the flag look like? Give you a little information about it. And her stickers are a lot larger in this one, but just separate books for them. So those are the consumables. These are additional books here from the book list for your book basket. So you don't have to get any of these read alouds. You don't have to get these specific ones, but you can get something on the lines of it, or you can just get the starred items. Like I said, 
So this one we will start reading shortly. We are currently reading Stone Fox. This was a book that I already had, but I went ahead and pulled it out. Um, it's America's 50 States. Forest was another book that I bought. We did not have a forest book. We have a trees book with no forest book. So I grabbed that one. One Small Square, Woods. This is all about the woods. The Magic and Mystery of Trees. We already own this book, so I just pulled it off the shelf because it goes great with our curriculum. And then I did purchase these. This is the 50 States Activity Book and then the 50 States Book as well. That is it for supplies. As you can see, there is quite a bit of information and books to read, but I promise you, once you get into it and actually get your hands on the book to read the preparation, you will not regret it. And I am one that sometimes if I have too, many, too much material, too many resources, I do tend to get overwhelmed with what's there, but this was not overwhelming at all. Once I had everything in hand, could lay my eyes on it, and was able to set it up the way I want it to, the way that worked for me. Like I read their suggested way to set it up and then I'm like, okay, let's try to do it this way and see what works for our family. It has been smooth sailing. And my girls are having so much fun. Like picking up books on a Saturday to make sure that they have all of the states memorized and where they are. Yeah, that didn't happen. <laughs> I just took the basket with the books in it, set it downstairs, and next thing I know, there were books all over the living room floor and they were looking at the books, like having a really good time. The curriculum has been great. One way to get it, cheaper cost, we all know buying things used is the way to go to cut the cost on it drastically. So I would highly suggest that if you are interested, take a look at what's offered and what you need. Um, take a look at your budget. Obviously that's first and foremost and decide if this is something that you want to invest in. But to have all of us at the table learning the same things and my girls are enjoying it has been a huge plus for us. I seriously, seriously hope that this video was so informative and helpful for anyone who is considering looking at this curriculum like I said before, if you have any additional questions, please put them in the comments below. You can email me, you can message me on Instagram the way many have done before, and I hope that it was helpful for you. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. I would greatly appreciate it. And I hope that you stick around on this channel by clicking the subscribe button and that notification bell so that you do not miss any of the videos here. And I will see you right back here at the Life of Tillman's for another video next time. Bye. <laughs>